Hello, this is Andrew Perkins, and this is part four in creating a blog using the CakePHP framework. In this video, we'll be using the models read method to retrieve a single post from our posts table. So in our text editor, under the app folder, under controllers, open up the posts underscore controller dot php file, and we'll need to start off by creating a new action. Our action will be called view. And our view action will take one argument, that'll be the ID of the post that we'd like to view. And you should set that to a default value of null, just in case an ID is not provided. Now the view action receives this ID via the URL. So when the post's view action is called, a third segment to the URL uh, can be added and it'll be the ID of the post that you'd like to view. So if we entered a 1, this 1 value will be sent to the view action and it'll be stored in this ID argument. And we can use that ID variable inside of our view action and we can use that to retrieve its corresponding post. We do that by calling the post models read method. The read method takes two parameters. The first one is a list of the fields that you'd like it to return. Uh, if you want to return all of them, just specify null. The second parameter is the ID of the post that you would like to find. So now this is saying find the post that has an ID which matches the one passed in through the URL. And this statement will return all of that post's fields and we can output those to the browser. So we now need to send this information to our view. We'll do that by calling the set method. The set method, if you recall from the last video, takes two parameters. The first one is the name of the variable which will hold the database results. Since this is holding just one post, we'll call it post. And the data that we want to include into it are the actual results from our database query, which is ran right here. This is uh, finding a post with the matching ID, so we'll cut that and paste it in as the second parameter get rid of that extra semicolon. So now it's saying use the read method and find a post with the matching ID stored inside of this post variable and it gets sent to our view and we can use this post variable inside of our view to output the post. So under app, under views, and in the posts folder we'll create a new file and remember view files are named directly after their action name ours is called view and they use a .ctp extension and here we can use HTML and PHP to output that post we'll use an h2 tag and we will echo out the current posts title this line here echoes out the title it's the post variable which is set from the controller right here post and it is an array. The first key of the array is the model. We're specifying the post model. The second key is the field in the table that you would like to access. And so we want to output the title. We also want to output the body. So open up PHP tags again and echo out the post. It's the post model and it's the body field that we'd like. Let's also output the created and modified dates. So we'll create a p tag and a small tag. Close these. And create it on. Open up your PHP tags and echo out the posts created field. And it was last modified on. Open up the PHP tags again and echo out the current posts modified field. All right, so here we're echoing out echoing out the posts title. Then we're echoing out the posts body. And here is the posts created date field and the posts last modified field. So now if we go to our browser we can type in 
the controller which is posts the action is view and then we can send in an ID for the post that we'd like to view if we enter a one we should get the post with the ID of one and there we go you can see we got the information for the first post there's its title its body right here and here's the created date and the modified date so let's check and see if we can get the third post this time there we go there's the third post now this isn't very user friendly the user would have to know the ID of the post that they'd like to view and enter it up here in the URL ideally what we'd like to happen is on our index page this is where we're displaying all of the posts we'd like it to make it to where the title is a link and you could click that link and it would go to the view action and display the post that you clicked so we'll do that by using the cake PHP's HTML link helper method uh, this is the index page so we'll need to modify the index view so under app under views and inside posts open up index.ctp and here's where we're outputting the posts title so we want to make this a link and how we do that is by using the HTML link helper method the link helper method the first parameter is what you want the linked text to be we want the link text to be the posts title so we're actually outputting the title right here so we can just cut it and paste that in as the first parameter the second parameter that the HTML link method takes is an array and it's a key value pair of where you're wanting to link to so we create an array and the key value pair is the key you're specifying that you want to link to an action and the value is the action that you want to link to so we're wanting to link to the view action now if you recall our view action requires that we pass in an ID of the post that we want to view so we have to also pass in its ID so after the view action put a comma and then we can use the post variable here to get the current post ID and let's break that onto a new line so it's easier to read so here we are we're using the HTML links method and we are setting the linked text to be the current posts title we're linking to the view action and we are passing in the current posts ID so now if we go to our browser and hit refresh for the index page we can see all of our titles have now become links and if you look down here where it says done you'll see that it says it's linking to the posts view and number three which is for the third post here's the one for posts view number two and one and if we click on those you can see that it linked and took us straight to the view action and it's displaying the second post if we hit back let's click on the third one and there we go it's linking to the third post now it'd be nice if on all of our view pages we had a backlink to take us back to the index page so we don't have to click the back button so let's create another link on our view page and we will create a br tag here and we'll create a p tag and open up your PHP tags and we'll use the HTML helper method again to create a link and you want to echo that out forgot to say that so you're echoing out an HTML link and remember the first parameter is what you want the linked text to be we'll call it back and the second parameter is an array it's a key value pair linking to the action that you want to go to we want to go to the action that is called index and we need to close our PHP tags click Save go back to our browser and if we view one of the posts you can see we now have this backlink and it takes us back to the index page and that'll work on all of the views we click on the second post and the second post also has a backlink and so there we go that's how you use the models read method to retrieve single post and how to use the HTML links helper method. 